Hi, I'm Brian with WV Gamers. Today we're going to do another tech unboxing. Well, it's already unboxed, but uh, we're going to be looking at the AC Infinity Cloudplate T2. Now this is a rack mountable fan for your network or server racks to help continuously push more air through the rack rather than just relying on the rack fans at the top to suck all the hot air out. Now, this is not going to be something that everyone needs. This is something I'm experimenting with in my own little uh, network rack. Um, just because I have a lot of devices in there, and the temperature, while it's safe for the equipment, it's a little warmer than I'd prefer it to be. So I'm hoping putting in a couple, or putting in this cloud plate will help keep the airflow moving to continuously push in new air into the rack. Now obviously my rack has some other issues uh, for airflow, but I have used a couple 120mm uh, fans sitting on a shelf, and that's considerably helped before. Uh, the only problem is, is it's just kind of a janky approach. I'd had my eyes on this cloud plate for a while now. Uh, the only reason I hadn't gone for it before is it is it was a little expensive. Um, for just the three fans basically and the controller in it um, and I'd already had a AC Infinity fan controller in my rack as is so by using those two fans that I would put in place it was giving me a very similar version of this just clearly not as well so uh, I actually saw this one come up on the Amazon market uh, as a uh, used very good shape product uh, so I ordered it I received it and everything is still on it like even the little pill on the front of the little screen is still there so my only guess is someone returned it because maybe there's a little bit of damage to the box but I mean honestly I'm very happy with what uh, the, the shape of everything because came with everything I'm not sure how well you'll be able to see the little s screen but there is a little screen there it has the little controls, and like I said, the little pill is still on it, so I'm excited I get to actually peel, the, peel it off of it. So, there's not going to be a whole lot to talk about with this. Um, it's as simple as, there's a controller in the front, and similar to the controller that I have currently, you'll be able to control the fans in a couple different ways. You can either set them to a specific speed, and they're set uh, from off to six, and obviously off it's going, it's not moving at all and it'll ramp up in RPMs as you go up through the different speed uh, levels. Um, that's one way you can do it. Uh, the other way, the way I prefer doing it, is the smart control. And what that will allow you to do is you'll tell it the upper threshold of where you want the temperature to ever hit. So let's say 95 degrees uh, Fahrenheit is the, the upper threshold for you. You can then tell it, that. so at that threshold it'll be running at the max speed of 6, but then you can tell it what increments do you want it to increase and ramp down. So let's say I wanted it to go to 5 when it's at 91 degrees. That's 4 degrees difference. So I can do the two, uh, 4 degree increment and then whenever it's at uh, 91 to 94, it'll be running at the 5 speed. And then 4 below that between those ranges will be uh, at the 4 speed and so on. I have quite a few AC Infinity uh, products in there. I have them all set to that, that same type of setting. They work very, very well. I'm very happy with it. Um, and there's another there's another uh, smart programming uh, setting you can use on it. I don't use it, I just use the smart because I kind of like having control of that where I can control the upper threshold and stuff. It also has an alarm where you can set that once it hits a certain temperature, it'll start beeping to let you know, hey, I'm at this temperature. So let's say you wanted uh, it to ramp up at 95 degrees. Uh, again, there's just, you need to decide if that's how hot you really want your equipment to get. But let's say 95 degrees and at 98 degrees you want the alarm to beep. It will sit there and beep until you come and uh, either silence the alarm or manage to get the temperature below that point. That is really, really good because you know, sometimes, if it, especially if you're a home user, you may just have it in a, a closet or somewhere in your house and you'll never pay attention to it. So this little audio uh, beep is very handy. Now, unfortunately, it does not have any network uh, uh, connectivity, so it can't send you smart uh, notifications or anything like that. 
I think I've read somewhere that they might have a model of some of their stuff coming out with that. Um, unfortunately, that's not what this model is. So I went with what was a, a good price for me. Uh, and this finally hit that threshold where I was like, yes, I want this. Um, and what's really nice in their other products about these is these are just, as far as the other ones go, these are just standard 120 millimeter fans. So if you wanted to put some quieter fans in them, like an Octua or one of um, the other brands that have quiet fans, you, in theory, could swap them out. Now, I'm sure your, vo your warranty is going to be voided at that point, but... Yeah, there's, uh, that's something you can do if there's ever an issue that you have with these. And you can probably, yeah, you can see on here where they have little screws. So you'll take the top panel off, pop those out, pop the new ones in, and yeah, you should be fine. Um, so yeah, so this is a 1U unit. And you'll see, you'll see on the sides, it has little rack ears right here. So it'll hook into the uh, rack right there. It is, I think, 13, 13 and a half inches deep. Um, that's probably going to be a problem for me. And another reason why I didn't initially buy this is because my rack is about 13 and a half to 14. So my concern is going to be plugging in the power cables and stuff. So you'll see that there's, there's the power cable. Uh, and then there's other connectors as well, because like I said, uh, you can sense the temperature and how you'll do that is you'll plug this little cable into the back and it has a little sensor probe that you'll wire somewhere into your rack and it'll just keep a constant temperature reading on that area. So um, yeah, it's kind of nice. I Like I said, I actually have a controller that works much like this just without the fans. So I'm probably literally just gonna do a swap of, of what's in my rack currently in with this. Um, the other thing this is able to do as well is it can control another set of fans so it can either control another cloud plate like this or one of the other cloud plate products because they have other ones that you have ones that will uh have just a small narrow piece that that's still one you but it's pretty thin and it just has a set of like 40 millimeter fans or something that sit in the front and they either suck air in or blow them out so intake or exhaust um, they also have ones that i think are like two and three u that use bigger fans so then they're a little bit quieter um so yeah you'll be able to control one other device with that what i'm going to be using it to control is it also can control your rack fan so i have a set of uh one millimeter or 120 millimeter rack fans at the top of my rack so i'm going to be able to plug these directly in here and control them just like i do with my controller now the one thing i am losing with going with this over my other uh, my controller which i can keep my controller in there um, the controller can actually control up to two sets of USB fans, which is what I was using. It was the, um, I forget the product name, but they're, they're just like a uh, little 120 millimeter. You can get them in 140 and I think like 80 or something. They're just little fans that have little rubber feet that you can like put onto um, your different devices and they'll help suck the air out. Um, because uh, one thing... Well, that so let me finish my thought before I go off on a tangent so the the other one can control two sets of USB fans like those they can also s control like two cloud plates uh, or uh, two sets of rack fans there's basically a total of four ports on the back two USB and then uh, two of these little barrel jacks so depending on the what are compatible you can control a lot of different things with those so that's one thing that I'm going to miss, but I don't currently need that if I replace the ones I have. So AC Infinity, um, in addition to making like fans and stuff like this, they also make a, they're really, they're more for your audio equipment, for DJ equipment, for your sound system, for your house, things like that. Um, so a lot of their product line is really meant for that, not necessarily for server grade stuff and network grade stuff. Their stuff is quoted uh, to be able to support those, but obviously they're not not rated for that. Uh, like in a, 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 I would not necessarily put this in a huge server uh, farm or anything like that. But for a home user or even a small business uh, that's wanting to try to keep their cost low, that type of stuff, this type of stuff works fine. So yeah, they do uh, some of the rack equipment like this. They do the little fans that'll sit on top of your uh, your audio receiver, like in your entertainment rooms and your TV rooms and whatnot. 
Um, they have uh, the little fans that you can put on top of like your game systems to help pull the air off of them. Um, they also have ductwork uh, like equipment as well for fans to push additional, uh, you know, help push air through your ducts and whatnot. Um, they also have like duct boosters, and they also have um, some other equipments for other hobbies that I'm not personally into, so I'm not going to talk about those. But there is a lot of products and, that they support, and they're all just basically fan equipment like this, but they're very powerful pieces of equipment. I've been using AC Affinity for a couple years now. I installed a couple at work when we had dying rack fans. Um, probably now I would probably do a couple things different at work. Um, but at the time I was learning, I was learning the networks, uh, the the server grade stuff. So I'd probably do a few things different. Probably get a couple of the higher end stuff rather than some of the things I did get. But either way, um, I've been pretty happy with. The performance of the AC Infinity stuff, and I'm continuing to keep my eye on some of the other things for when I finally get my rack pulled into the house and installed in that closet. Uh, I'll probably have a need for some of their other products, but yeah, this has been the AC Infinity Cloud Plate T2. Uh, hopefully, it'll help cool down my networking equipment a little bit for me and uh, be uh, nice and quiet. So, I'm Brian with WV Gamers.